400 pound schizophrenic black man from the streets of Chicago. <laughs> now this guy, this guy is crazy. The man is crazy. He has like a Casio keyboard and he sings all these and he sings all these crazy songs, basically many of them detailing his various insanities and stuff like that. Wesley Willis is just a guy with a keyboard and uh, he uses a lot of profanity. Everybody loved this man, like loved him. He's the only guy I know of where like you can uh, you can look at the name of the song and you've never even heard this song before, but you can sing along with the chorus. That's brilliant, okay? The, the greatest thing about his songs is once you've heard this, the the song title, you know what the chorus is going to sound like. If the song title is Courtney Love, for example, the, the, the chorus will go like Courtney Love, Courtney Love, Courtney Love, Courtney Love, like four times. That's how that's how it works. <laughs> you know, you can get your friends together. They never heard Wesley Wills before, but like. Tell them the name of the song, and they already know how to sing the chorus. It's all good, you know. You can easily classify any Wesley Willis song after you've heard like a bunch of them into like you know these rough categories. And, like we broke them down before. We were like abuse me, the spooky sounding song, <laughs> bus rides, I have the happy song, like animals, and then we'll go back to the spooky song. Rock stars. He has all these songs about rock stars and other famous personalities. Like you know, he has a particular affectation for Courtney Love. <laughs> Then he talks about people. He talks about, you know, Crispin Glover and Alanis Morissette and talking about how they're good people. Like he's like he's friends with them. You know, you are you are a good person to they met. <laughs> you are a good person in Jesus' name. <laughs> That's just funny. Well, uh, we go to the show, you know. Wesley comes out. He's uh He's in a funny mood. You know, he's he's you know, you notice that's, that, right? That, that's one way of putting it. Yeah, he was, he was definitely in a funny mood. Like his social worker is like on stage with him. Like she like sometimes like he'll be like ah, a little too manic and she'll come out and calm him down and stuff like that. Wesley was, like, got so excited his social worker had to come up and calm him down. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he grabbed the microphone cord and snapped the microphone cord right in half. They had to bring him another one. She, she she saw him live and she was telling her she was like yes we saw this retarded man and stuff like that. Like a lot of people you know they think he's like retarded and stuff like that. You know. Like he took the, the microphone. Or just went like thunk, just ripped, snapped it right in half. It's like voyeuristic, you know, like watching his shit, you know. Well, like, you know, I was thinking you could see it in a voyeuristic way, but it also no, you like, could see it in a positive way, like sharing it. I mean, you don't have to say I'm laughing at this guy because he's retarded, you know. You don't have You're to. You're laughing. You don't have to make a judgment on it. If it's funny to you, it's funny <laughs> to you. Thunk. Thunk. Wouldn't it be like shh? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure, there's a lot of people who are just who are really pissed really off, offended yeah. by that stuff. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are just offended by the fact that he's like suck a llama's dick, you know, like just the fact that he's like screaming all this animal fellatio stuff. Suck the sprinkle stick. Suck a llama's balls. There's this fucking sadistic tendency he has towards animals. You know? And he has like all these different kinds of songs. A lot of them sound the same. Many of them, he invites you to perform sex acts on animals. He, you know, like like classics like suck a cheetah's dick. Suck a European bison smelly ass. My dog kicked my ass. Suck a panda bear spread me nuts sack. Suck my dog's dick. Suck a brown bear's dick. <laughs> suck a greyhound's musty ass, motherfucker. Suck a snow leopard's ass with whipped cream. Suck a racehorse's booty hole. Suck a devil's asshole out. Suck a hyena's spermy dick. Suck a reindeer's smelly ass, motherfucker. Suck a European bison's shitty ass. Suck a bamboo's ass. Suck a racehorse's cock with Heinz tomato ketchup. Like those are very visceral images. Like whipping a mule with a belt whipping on stage. Whipping a llama's ass on stage, mind you. <laughs> what do you mean? He did you know, that? No, yeah, yeah. In, in, in Scream, Dracula screams like, storm the stage and whip a horse's ass. <laughs> Whip that cheetah's ass on stage, you know, like he seriously, that's what he wants to see. Like in his mind, the rock concert, you know, must be a serious, like, <laughs> this big spectacle that no one else sees. Like maybe he's actually seeing the horse getting flagellated, like we're all getting down to the rock music, you know, who can say? Like what goes up really goes on in his head. When you would meet people, he'd shake their hand, take their head, and headbutt. Yeah, that's how, that's how he greets them. He's like, he's like, he's like, that's how he says hello, you know what I'm saying? Like, nice and gentle. Like, one after the other, like, ten times, fifteen times. He kept repeating, you know, who am I gonna headbutt? Who's gonna be the first one? He had the biggest black dot, like, on his forehead ever. So Chris goes up and he gets the first headbutt, and it was a, it was a big honor for him. Literally, like, just take his head and, like, run his head, oh, like, into the chest. <laughs> My friend got headbutted, like, 20 times. It was crazy shit.
this lyric. And then he's got all those songs where he's like doing angry things. He's like, I broke out your windshield. I killed your daddy yesterday. I murdered your family. <laughs> I'm shooting out your lights. Story, like, I killed your daddy yesterday. <laughs> I killed your daddy yesterday. He's talking about how somebody's dad <laughs> broke into his no, car. Your dad. Your, your, your dad. Listener. Your dad broke into Wesley Willis's car and was fiddling through his glove compartment. And so then he took out his 38 and let him have it. So he doesn't knock at the door. And the police are there. And they fucking carted him off. And that was yesterday. <laughs> that, that, that so. That's right. And already the song's out. You know, he's got those other songs where like people attack him. He's like, he's like, yeah. This is the song he's doing time in jail. That's a real jam. And he's like, and he's like, he came at me with a box cutter. The police carted him off to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, the story where he was attacked on the bus and stuff like that. Like it makes his whole life sound like this big like like street war type of thing. Fabian you know? Roadway. Yeah, exactly. There you go. I was a junior in high school, and uh, my friends started saying like, yeah, we gotta play some Wesley Willis, like real ominously, and I was like, okay, whatever. And then, you know, then the fucking cheesy synthesizer, you know, starts and everything. And I was hooked on that shit, man. I, I would sit and listen to that shit alone, just cracking up in my room. And then for a whole year, we just talked like Wesley Willis, you know? It whipped a llama's ass with a belt. I love the guy. He's totally. I've, I've integrated him in my daily lexicon. Instead of being like, if I were to say to somebody, I don't say like suck my dick anymore. I say like suck a racehorse's booty hole or suck a European bison's shitty ass. You know, that's what it's all about. It's so much more colorful, and you can guarantee at least three people in the vicinity will be like, what? What? You think he does any drugs? I don't want to know. I got that maybe like tranquilizer. Cool, like I bet you he's on a prescription or something, right? Yeah. But I bet you he's probably pretty anti-drug use. I bet. I bet no, no, yeah. There's one song where he goes off against the gangster rapper in fact. Really? He's like, <laughs> Mr. Scarface. And of course the chorus is, Mr. Scarface. Like, and he's like, why people are against you. They say you rap about killing police officers and selling dope. You can do better than that for yourself. Why don't you clear up your act? He's got a positive message to spread. But, you know, he intersperses it with all this, you know, with these commands to perform these like perverted sex acts on, like, you know, every animal on the fucking encyclopedia. <laughs> Never assault a police officer. Never break the security guard. It's against the law. He's got a, oh, yeah, he's yeah, got yeah, a bunch yeah, of songs yeah. where he, yeah, he's like, stop, stop killing little kittens. Don't sell illegal drugs. Stop beating up FBI agents. Don't rob gas stations and banks. Don't rob little stores elsewhere. And he's like really <laughs> upset about all the violence in the world. You can tell that, you know, he, he, even, he thinks it goes too far sometimes yeah. and stuff like that, you know, like. <laughs> I draw so good. I draw so well. I draw so great right on. He's like a serious artist. He lives in Chicago. I, I don't know if he still does it, but he sold his art on, on the street. And it's like this crazy, like, Crayola, like, industrial, uh, you know, pictures of buildings and cars and stuff like that. It's really, I really like this stuff.